We have a couple of people here on heart rate monitors, Ned and Bill. Ned, where are you? Ned, what's your heart rate right now? Okay, come on up here a second. Bill, where are you? What's your heart rate? Come on up. Come on down, as they say. <laughs> Why don't you come over here, Ned? <laughs> And Bill over? What, what is it now? 220. No, I'm just joking. 124. 124. What's yours? 119. 119. So it's jumped 20 beats. Have you ever sung in front of a crowd this big? <laughs> What's your heart rate now? Not that I can remember. 123. 123. Up another two. <laughs> What's yours? <laughs> 139. 139. <laughs> And all we want to do is, it's just, it's a biofeedback right in front of your face. You can predict it every time. First of all, it's really not the workload that it took them to get up here that raises their heart rates. Because heart rates go up either through exercise workload or through stress. It's because coming down here right away, what's he going to do? Yeah, right. <laughs> and these are your friends, you know. What if they were your opponents? Now, I want you to just, just totally relax. Let your stomach hang out, and I want, you to, I want you to breathe in with me. Four counts. Breathe in. One, big breath. Two, three, four. Hold it. Now breathe out. Let it all out through your mouth. One, two, three, four. Huge breath in. Breathe in. One, two, three. Totally relax. Let it out. One, two, three, four. What's your heart rate now? 107, 93. 93. Do you see how fast you can recover if you go calm? The physical totally helps the emotional. You can't tell yourself to be calm, but you can physically breathe yourself to calmness.